to our big story. We're talking about the line fire in San Bernardino County, and it exploded in size over the weekend. It's now burned more than 20,000 acres with zero containment. And mandatory evacuations are still in place for people in some mountain communities. KCAL News reporter Rick Montanez is live in Mentone, where people are keeping a close eye on the fire. Rick, good morning. I'm sure a lot of people not sleeping well last night. Yeah. Yes, certainly, especially because we can smell all the smoke in the air and you can see the fire. Check out the wall of fire up on the mountainside there. I mean, this is what a lot of people are, are worried about. What they're seeing is watching this fire move even overnight, growing in size. This is steep and rugged terrain, very dangerous work. I just talked with a Cal Fire battalion chief who tells me that firefighters are working overnight trying to protect homes and businesses, but they're also planning for another dangerous day ahead. We know that triple digit temperatures are coming again today, so that's why it's so important to get that work done at night when it is cooler. We had the water dropping helicopters back last night, so uh, hopefully we'll see that containment come up. And all of that is very dangerous work. I mean, look at this video from what they're dealing with. This is video from yesterday where the line fire just continued moving through all of this thick, dry brush. More than 20,000 acres burned. Containment is at 0%. That is where they build a line around the fire to try to keep it from growing in size. But that hasn't happened just yet. Firefighters are still trying to protect homes, businesses. They say more than 30,000 homes and structures, buildings, uh, businesses that are threatened by this, which is just in those communities that have been evacuated so far, and they have not lost a building yet, which is good news. Wild winds from thunderstorms over the weekend made this one difficult, also sending these flames in all directions. Some of the communities evacuated this morning include Running Springs, Arrow Bear Lake, Forest Falls, and several other areas there are more communities that are on evacuation warnings. We talked with people over the weekend who were rushing to get out of their homes. Well, um, it's pretty unsure right now because I have two dogs and I really don't want to go down the hill because I have no place to take them. So we're just, we have everything packed up on our cars and we're just ready to leave at a moment's notice. So that is something else they're telling people is even if you are in an evacuation warning zone to start preparing now, gather what you need. If you think it will take you a while to get out, well, they say start that evacuation process already. I've seen posts online where people are talking about now only having one road in and out of their community. So that's what they're dealing with. Certainly very dangerous conditions, and we're facing another very hot day, which is what firefighters are worried about right now. Reporting live in Mentone, Rick Montanez, KCAL News. Really tough conditions yeah. for those firefighters, too. Thanks so much, Rick. Meantime, a wildfire smoke advisory has been extended until 1159 tonight, and this interactive map shows you the air quality in the neighborhood closest to the fire. The areas in red and purple have the most unhealthy air. That includes Highland, Ontario, and Corona. We'll update our heat and fire danger coverage all throughout the morning, so be sure to keep it here on KCAL News and KCALnews.com for the latest information. We're also streaming on CBS News Los Angeles.